Hello and welcome in a shocking news coming from the auto world. Auto manufacturer Nissan's chairman Carlos Ghosn has been arrested for financial misconduct. Reports say an inter internal investigation found that he underreported his income and engaged in other quote unquote significant misconduct. The report says that Ghosn was arrested after he voluntarily submitted to questioning by Tokyo prosecutors. The Yokohama-based company, one of the world's largest automakers, said that the violations were discovered during an investigation over several months that was instigated by a whistleblower. Gosner 64 allegedly engaged in personal use of company assets. Nissan said it was providing information to the prosecutors and cooperating with their investigation. The allegations also concern a Nissan official by the name of Greg Kelly. The Nissan Renault Mitsubishi Group is among the biggest auto alliances in the world, selling about 10 million vehicles a year. The allegations are a serious blow at a time when Nissan and Mitsubishi Motor Company are still overcoming scandals over their quality testing reporting. Gosson is credited with helping engineer a remarkable turnaround at Nissan over the past two decades resuscitating the Japanese automaker from near bankruptcy after he was sent in by Renault. He served as Nissan's chief executive from 2001 until April last year, becoming chief executive of Renault in 2005, leading the two major automakers simultaneously. Obviously, when you're in a situation like this, where you have a lot of uncertainty, this is the worst situation for any decision maker, because you don't know exactly what's going to happen. My apologies, we'll play out that bite of the minister in just a bit. But moving on for the moment, 19 November marks World Toilet Day. Today, many countries around the world focus on the sanitation crisis. Now, all over the world, 4.5 billion people live without a safe toilet. 892 million people still practice open defecation it means that human species on a massive scale is not being captured or treated one third of schools worldwide do not provide any toilet facility it's a huge problem for girls during menstruation and 900 million school children across the world do not have access to a hand wash and staying on the story, lack of sanitation is a burning issue in India. India is on a toilet building spree. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's $20 billion Swachh Bharat or Clean India campaign is actively working to tackle the sanitation issue. And the scale up of building toilets and a nationwide campaign to encourage their use is driving a market for toilet related products and services that's predicted to double to $62 billion by the year 2021. The figures show India has made great progress when it comes to sanitation. Over 88 million households toilets have been built since the year 2014. Now there are over half a million open defecation free villages and 530 open defecation free districts across the country. Now, one in three people around the world do not have access to a toilet. To drive home this point, a restaurant in London decided to stop every third person from using the washroom. What followed were confused faces and angry responses. Take a look. Yeah, I can't let you in. What? Is this some sort of joke? I get really, really angry. What? It's our basic human right. <laughs> Hey, are you after the toilet? I'm afraid you can't. Are you serious? Yeah. No, but why? No, but why? You can go in. I can? Yes. Great. So he's allowed to go to the toilet and I'm not? Yes. Women are at risk of attack. I ain't got a clue what you're about. People can get sick and end up in a hospital. Some people die. What? So he needs to go, mate? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, no, uh, she needs to go. There's another toilet a couple of miles that way. Miles? is ludicrous because I want to wee myself right on the floor if you don't let me go. One in three people don't have access. She really needs a wee. Well, she's number three. Right, moving on. Elephants in India finally have a dedicated hospital on the outskirts of Mathura in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. 
Puyong's Jessica Taneja reports. Spread over an area of nearly 12,000 square feet, India's first elephant hospital comes with a promise. Treating the pachyderms with the latest technology and offering the best possible care. This hospital can treat up to 10 elephants requiring critical care at a time. Dr. Yadaraj has been treating elephants for over nine years now. He says the hospital will help reduce dependence on humans for elephants' day-to-day -day survival. With this machine, we can actually diagnose the depth as well as the extent of the abscess and we can uh, decide on our treatment accordingly. So this is a very useful machine in elephants to check on the abscesses and some other kind of small wounds. From fully equipped medical store and a pathology lab, this elephant hospital is equipped with advanced technological healthcare facilities. It has wireless digital radiology, foot scan with portable x-ray, dental scan with portable x-ray, ultrasonography for diagnosis in health, dart gun tranquilizer to sedate and tranquilize the elephants. Earlier, the injured elephants used to be transported in a truck, but this hospital has a specialized elephant ambulance that will take care of the critically injured tuskers. Wildlife SOS Elephant Hospital's co-founders Kartik Satyanarayan and Geeta Seshamani say the hospital will help them take better care of elephants in distress and the rescued ones will get the right medical care. Elephant Hospital is extremely special because it focuses for the first time on the welfare of captive elephants. India is home to over 50% of the world's population of Asian elephants and there is not a single facility where elephants can be taken care of for medical care or for critical care or any kind of state-of-the-art facilities. And so it was absolutely essential that Wildlife SOS create a facility. The hospital on the banks of River Yamuna is close to an elephant conservation and care centre run by Wildlife SOS that is home to 22 elephants. It would eventually be expanded to take care of nearly 50 pachyderms. After they recover from long-term medical procedures and critical care, the elephants will be transferred to the conservation and care centre. This is India's first elephant hospital and it's nothing but a dream come true for thousands of elephants who waited patiently to be treated in a facility like this. From a brilliant pathology lab to all the advanced technical equipments required to treat unwell elephants, this facility is going to guarantee good health for all the elephants in the long run. Jessica Taneja, Kudira journalist Sandeep Das, the world is one in Mathura.